Hi, I am Fred from the Elastic team. Here, I will give a high-level overview of what Elastic can do now and in the future. At the heart of version 0.5 is the interactive training of a pixel-level classifier. After training, the classifier can be used to batch process very large numbers of images. Images can have two or three spatial dimensions plus a spectral dimension. Everything is multi-threaded for speed. In settings where the pixel-level classifier won't work, you can resort to an interactive watershed. Unsupervised decomposition allows you to find low-dimensional representations for spectral images, and a plug-in mechanism offers extensibility. Everything is open source, and we share binaries for all major platforms. Now, I want to give you an intuition for how the interactive machine learning works. Features can be selected by the user, and they are computed for each and every pixel in the image. So every pixel in the image is mapped to one point in feature space. Now the user can provide annotations in the image domain, which are of course transferred to the feature space, and can be used to train a classifier. Once the classifier has been trained, predictions can be made for each and every point in feature space, that means for each and every pixel in the image domain. If you're not happy with the current result, for instance, I see some problems here, you can give further annotations and thus improve your classifier. All of this is shown in more detail in the other videos that you can see on the documentation page. Now here I have an example where such a pixel level classifier won't work. For example, I want to carve out this particular neuron out of the three-dimensional data set. However, it looks just the same as its neighbor. So I need a different strategy. Here we use an amortized watershed that relies on boundary information and on labels provided by the users. So here these are seeds and by providing a couple of seeds you can distinguish your objects of interest from the background and render them in 3D. In the upcoming version 0.6 we will have all of the above plus the possibility to combine modules into specific workflows there will be just-in-time computation that, that will bring interactive machine learning even on very large data sets to the notebook and it will allow operations on structured objects such as region adjacency graphs and so on. It will have a generic object feature library and many more. For more detailed demos please have a look at the other videos and explore and enjoy yourself. Thanks for listening.